do all paths lead to God? Um, the answer is, I would say clearly no, uh, and clearly no regardless of what your religion is. I mean, it, it really, I know people like Oprah and different people will say, you know, all the different, the world's religions are all different ways of saying the same thing, and it's all different ways of getting to God. But that really doesn't make any sense because, first of all, I mean, just think about it logically. If there's a God, then isn't there one way to get to God? I mean, why would God make all these different ways to get to him and have all these different stories and all these different narratives and you got the Bible saying the earth is young, you got the Bhagavad Gita or not the Bhagavad Gita, the um the Vedas saying that the um that the earth is very old and then you got secular humanism says the earth is very old. I mean, you got these competing, uh, you know, ideologies. That doesn't make any sense. Why would God tell this group? He, why would he tell the Jews that the earth is like 6,000 years old? And then why would he tell the Hindus that the earth is billions of years old? It doesn't make any sense. Uh, you know, beyond just like the age of the earth, I mean, you got the fact that, like, if you look at Christianity, Christianity says you get one life, you live one life, you die, you you know, if you were, if you accept the sacrifice of Christ, then you go to heaven, if you didn't accept the sacrifice of Christ, you go to hell, I mean, that's completely different from Buddhism, that's completely different from Hinduism, Buddhism says you keep coming back over and over and over and over in life after life after life after life, Hinduism says the same thing. Now, even between Hinduism and Buddhism, Buddhism says there is no God. Hinduism says there's like uh, 200 million gods. So how come Buddhism says there's no God and Hinduism says there's a whole bunch of gods and Taoism says there's no gods and it doesn't really seem to preach uh, reincarnation at all. And then so you got a lot of these Eastern religions that do preach reincarnation, but Christianity says, no, you get one life and that's it. Not to mention two. All the other religions say it's all about your works, whether you believe in secular humanism, which is a religion, secular humanism, or Hinduism, or Buddhism, they all teach it's about your works. They all teach it's about how good you are, how nice you are, how tolerant you are, all these different things. But Christianity says no. There's definite right and definite wrong, and you know everybody has sinned, everybody has transgressed, everybody has missed the mark of of meeting God's perfect standards, and so you're in need of a savior. You need a substitute. You need you basically need somebody's coattails uh, to ride into heaven on. Like the only way you're going to get into heaven is by being judged on someone else's record. Is that what Buddhism says? No. Is that what Hinduism says? No. Is that what Taoism says? No. Is that what Islam says? No. So it, it makes no sense that all these different paths lead to God because A, it doesn't make sense that God would make a bunch of different paths, and B, uh, all these different religions say drastically different things. Yeah, they all teach morality or they all teach like to be a good person or a decent person but that's really the only like underlying similarity and there are differences between what constitutes a good person for example if you're somebody who's into like the new age or buddhism all that type of stuff i mean you would look at homosexuality and say they have, you know, homosexuals should love who they want to love. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, you know, let's let's not be judgmental. Let's, you know, let's be tolerant. Like in the New Age community or the 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 occult community or the Eastern mysticism community, you know, tolerance and stuff like that. That is a component of morality. Now, in Christianity, we would say no. We would say right and wrong is determined by God. And God says homosexuality is a sin. Therefore, homosexuality is a sin. So if all paths lead to God, how come my path says homosexuality is not okay? And somebody else's path says, oh, no, it's fine. You, you should have tolerance. So like I said, it just doesn't make it, it sounds nice that all paths lead to the same place, but it doesn't make any sense. It's not true, and it doesn't make any sense. So if it's not the case that all paths lead to God, I mean, you better figure out which path is right. I mean, as somebody who went down 
every path that there is to go down, I will tell you from my experience that Jesus, just like it says in the Bible, Jesus is the way. The only way Christianity is the path. It's not a path. It's not one path. It's it. It's the path. Jesus is the way to get to God. So um, that's it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. You can subscribe. Or if you have a video request, leave a video request. Um, that's it. Thanks for listening. God bless.